what is an average expenditure curve? The price which we are paying for every unit of the commodity. Marginal expenditure is the increase in cost when we are going to buy the additional units of the good. I have made a simple table for you in which we have the number of labor. Let's say we have five units of labor and the wages which are paid for each unit of labor and the total expenditure, which is nothing, the number of units of labor into wages paid to every unit of labor. And here you have the total expenditure and then the average expenditure, which is the total expenditure upon the number of units, which is wages only. Marginal expenditure is the total expenditure when you had two units of labor minus the total expenditure. Total expenditure when you had three units of labor minus total expenditure when you had two units of labor. That comes out to be the marginal expenditure when you are buying three units of labor. And then the idea is that we are going to draw this curve. So when one unit of labor was employed, the average expenditure was 10. When two units was employed, average expenditure was 11. Three units is employed, average, average expenditure was 12. Four units, average expenditure is 13. Five units of labor, average expenditure is 14. So this is what my average expenditure curve is. And then you have the marginal expenditure curve, which says this. When two units of labor was employed, every uh, marginal expenditure was 12. Three units, marginal expenditure was 14. Four units, marginal expenditure is 16. And five units, marginal expenditure is 18. So you have the marginal expenditure curve like this. And then there is a relationship between the marginal and the average expenditure curve. Average expenditure is nothing but the price. Total expenditure is PQ into Q. What is marginal expenditure? First function as it is into derivative of second, which is one plus second function as it is into derivative of first with respect to Q that is del P by del Q. But what is PQ? PQ is nothing but average expenditure plus Q del P by del Q. So if this del P by del Q is zero, as in the case of the comparative firm, then marginal expenditure is equal to average expenditure. Because the competitive firm is a price taker, it cannot influence the price. Del P by del Q is going to be zero. If the monopsony firm wants to produce more, it will have to buy more units of labor and the price is also going to increase. So del P by del Q is greater than zero. In that case, your marginal expenditure is average expenditure plus some positive quantity. For a monopsony firm, marginal expenditure is more than average expenditure. For a competitive firm, marginal expenditure is equal to average expenditure. Please do the question which I have given in the comments.